now, it's time for our daily devotion, daily abiding in Jesus Christ, in the book of John chapter 15 verse 7. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. So we invite you to spend a little moment as we bring you today's daily abiding in Jesus Christ, a daily devotional ministry project of Christodo Genobaga from passages taken from the Holy Scriptures with quotations from the Spirit of Prophecy by Ellen G. White. Daily abiding in Jesus Christ. May 31, 2020 Matthew 18 verses 1 to 5 Verse 1 At the same time came the disciples unto Jesus, saying, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? 2 And Jesus called a little child unto him, and set him in the midst of them. 3 And said, Verily I say unto you, except ye be converted, and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. 4. Whosoever therefore shall humble himself as this little child, the same is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. 5. And whoso shall receive one such little child in my name receiveth me. Quotation from the Spirit of Prophecy very tenderly, yet with solemn emphasis, Jesus tried to correct the evil. He showed what is the principle that bears sway in the kingdom of heaven, and in what true greatness consists, as estimated by the standard of the courts above. Before honor is humility. To fill a high place before men, heaven chooses the worker who, like John the Baptist, takes a lowly place before God. The most childlike disciple is the most efficient in labor for God. The heavenly intelligences can cooperate with him who is seeking, not to exalt self, but to save souls. But when men exalt themselves, feeling that they are a necessity for the success of God's great plan, the Lord causes them to be set aside. It was not enough for the disciples of Jesus to be instructed as to the nature of his kingdom. What they needed was a change of heart that would bring them into harmony with its principles. The simplicity, the self-forgetfulness, and the confiding love of a little child are the attributes that heaven values. These are the characteristics of real greatness. The sincere, contrite soul is precious in the sight of God. He places his own signet upon men, not by their rank, not by their wealth, not by their intellectual greatness, but by their oneness with Christ. By Ellen G. White Desire of Ages, pages 436, 437 Prayer for Today Dear God, our Father in Heaven, It is with profound humility, and with awe and reverence that we approach your holy presence because you are our creator and our loving father. Our hearts are filled with joy and gratitude for sending your only begotten son who suffered by shedding his blood at the cross and died in our place, and by believing in him we are able to receive eternal life. Our prayer today is, for for Jesus Christ to dwell in best, our only hope of being glorified. Thank you for answering our prayer for we ask you in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen.